Hey guys, this is a Phantom blockchain tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to get set up on the Phantom network with MetaMask, how to bridge some tokens over from Ethereum, and then how to use DeFi on Phantom. So swapping tokens, also lending them out and yield farming as well using some of the protocols on Phantom. Absolutely everything you need to know in this video. All of the timestamps for these sections are down in the description, plus some extra resources, links to some of these sites that I mentioned will all be down there as well. So definitely check out the description if you need that. Firstly, why do we use Phantom. Uh, Phantom is essentially Ethereum uh, compatible, so uh, you can bridge tokens over from Ethereum, use some of uh, the Ethereum applications like Curve Finance to essentially earn yield, but for low cost. You're going to be paying a very small amount to transact on Phantom as opposed to the Ethereum mainnet. You can see a lot of these apps. I'm going to go through using some of these in this video, but what we're going to need to do first is set up a MetaMask wallet. I'm not gonna go through setting up MetaMask specifically in this video, I'll leave that video in the description if you need a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually download and get set up with MetaMask initially. Um, so that one is in the description. But once you've got MetaMask set up, we, what we need to do is add Phantom Network to it. So the easiest way to do this is to come into your MetaMask initially. Uh, it's also an extension for Chrome as well, so you can use it here. I've just expanded the view so you can see. We, we will need to add the Phantom Network, and you can see I've actually got it here already, Phantom Opera Mainnet. So what we need to do is go Add Network, and then we need to put some um, details in here. So what we need to do is come back to the Phantom Docs. So you can search for Google in this. I'll try and put it in the description as well. Then you need to add this network in with these parameters. So uh, just copy paste this information and put it in. So you need Phantom Opera as the name, chain ID, currency symbol, and the block explorer is ftmscan.com. That all goes in here. You can see it just you know uh, pastes in. Then you click save, and that should have added Phantom as a network into your MetaMask. You can see right now that I'm still on the Ethereum mainnet, but I've added in the uh, the option for Phantom. So if I click on Phantom, you can see it goes through, um, and actually I have nothing in here right now. Now, the address is the same as my Ethereum address, as you can see, because Phantom is EVM compatible. So you have these, the same address, address as you would use on Ethereum, but this is a different network. So uh, this will be used when we're transferring assets in. The other way to add it to your MetaMask, if you wanna do that, is come to chainlist.org, um, and then you can just search for Phantom right here. Um, you can connect your MetaMask wallet and you want the Phantom Opera, not the testnet. You want this one, Chain ID 250. Click Connect Wallet. It will then basically add it for you automatically. Something that you might wanna do though when you add it automatically is that sometimes Chainlist doesn't give you the correct information um, for uh, the, uh, if we go to Add Network, it doesn't give you the correct information for the uh, block explorer. So just make sure that the block explorer that you're on is this one. So ftmscan.com, you can make sure that that is correct if it isn't correct from chainlist.org. Next up, we need to get some FTM coins into our MetaMask so we can go ahead and use DeFi. The best and easiest way to do this is using an exchange like Binance or KuCoin. They're the ones I use, I recommend those. Um, I'll leave links to them in the description so you can get some FTM coins. Um, and if you want to know how to use those exchanges, I'll leave the tutorials in the description as well. Just on Binance though, what you need to do once you have FTM coins is obviously come and transfer them out. So come over to your MetaMask wallet, you can, you can see I'm in FTM uh, right now, so Phantom Opera Mainnet. Just gonna click copy, come back to my Binance. I'm gonna paste this in right here, and then you need to choose a network. You can see right now that um, there's actually a, a bunch of networks that are supported, but you obviously want the FTM network down at the bottom. You can see that right here, so make sure to choose the Phantom network. Do not use Ethereum, do not use Binance Smart Chain. Uh, FTM network, it should take five minutes and cost two cents. So very quick, go through with that withdrawal, simple process on Binance, and it's gonna be the same on other exchanges. If you don't wanna use a centralized exchange to get some Phantom tokens, you can do it on Ethereum and then bridge the tokens over to your Phantom wallet on the Phantom chain. So I'll show you how to do that now. What you need to do is get some Phantom tokens initially. So uh, if you're on the Ethereum mainnet and you have some ETH tokens, or some USDT or something like that, you can use Uniswap to actually go and swap into FTM. So that's the Ethereum mainnet version, the ERC20 version. So you can swap, for example, ETH into FTM, into your MetaMask, the Ethereum mainnet, and get those ERC20 tokens. Then what you can do is come to this website, which is multichain.xyz, um, and then you can 
bridge them from your Ethereum MetaMask over to your Phantom Wallet MetaMask. Um, what you can see right here is I've got obviously uh, FTM tokens. I don't have a balance, but this is just to show you. So if you had some FTM in your Ethereum mainnet wallet, you could put that in here uh, and then bridge it over. And you can see this is Phantom. This is FTM on the Phantom blockchain and press transfer. Um, that will take roughly 15 minutes or so. So that's basically a bridge. The downside of this is that you will have to pay ETH gas fees to send those ERC20 tokens. So it's going to be pretty expensive. That is why I would recommend just using, a, using an exchange and using the Phantom uh, network directly. Now that we have Phantom in our MetaMask wallet, we can actually go and connect our MetaMask wallet with the Phantom wallet um, so that we can go ahead and do various other things. So I'll show you that quickly. So come to the Phantom website, click on Phantom DeFi up in the top right. It will take you through to this page. This is a Phantom wallet. Um, so we can actually use this with our MetaMask. So if you click Connect Wallet, then click MetaMask right here. Obviously the MetaMask that you're connected to um, will uh, connect up with this. So we'll just connect that up. Um, then we've added the MetaMask account, click add account like this. Now we're in the Phantom wallet. You can do some different things in here. So you can use this as a separate wallet, um, but you can also go through and stake. You can actually swap some tokens in here as well, uh, which we'll get onto. But you can see I had a first transaction here, which is FTM going into the wallet. And then it shows everything really nicely here. And you can send and receive uh, from here as well. Once you've got your Phantom wallet set up, then you can go ahead and stake Phantom if you want for some extra yield. There's some pros and cons to this. The cons is that you have to lock up your coins for a certain amount of time. The pro is that you get a yield for staking your coins. Um, the yield is very certain uh, and you're staking your coins directly on the blockchain. So there's no you know, risk of them you know, going you know, awry or anything like that. You can come to the Phantom website and you can see the rewards that you may get. So basically Phantom pay you more money the longer you stake your coins for. Um, so you can just play with this to see how many Phantom or FTM that you have and then locking it for how long. So if you want to lock it for 12 months, you actually get 14% APR. Um, and then if you lock it for a smaller period of time, the APR goes down. So it's now 4.93 if you want to lock it up for about a month, something like that. You can obviously choose this. Something else you can do is just look at the uh, the validators that you want to stake with. Um, so you can go over to FTM Scan. Um, FTM Scan is the blockchain explorer. So you can use that. You can come up to staking and validators leaderboard. And then you can see some addresses here that you might want to stake with. You can see their ID, the amount of downtime they have. You want this to be zero, definitely. Um, and then how much they have staked and how much FTM is delegated to them from other people in the system and the total stake. You definitely want them to be active as well. So that just shows you, you know, some of the health of the validators. You just want to make sure that they don't have any downtime. If you want to delegate, go over to your Phantom wallet that you just um, linked up with MetaMask. Then we can come over to staking. Um, we can add delegation. So we want to do that. Um, then you can choose the amount. I'm just going to choose the entire balance. Uh, let's just do two or something like that. Uh, select a validator. Then you can check those on FTM scan if you want. You know, like I said, you can just get the ID so you can search easily how much is delegated and everything. And you can select one of these to delegate to. When you do stake on Phantom, you have to make sure to do it the right way. So when you come into stake and you, you press this, there will be some options down here. Firstly, you have to delegate your coins to a validator. That's number one. Secondly, you have to lock them. So there will be a, a box that comes up here that says lock. You have to choose that lock period to start getting the rewards and the amount of time that you want to lock for. After that, there will be a button that says claim rewards, which you can do. So that's your interest. And there's another button called claim and restake. That's when you claim your rewards and then restake the rewards to start compounding the interest that you make. And you can, of course, withdraw from a validator as well, but that does take seven extra days after you withdraw. So that will all be in here in the delegation and staking. There'll be another box that comes in with the amount of FTM that you staked, uh, the time and what you want to do with it. So that's how staking works on Phantom. Next up, we're going to use Spooky Swap, which is pretty much the biggest dApp on Phantom right now. You can swap tokens and add liquidity to earn passive income as well. So firstly, we need to connect our wallet. So connect up your MetaMask that we've um, just got some FTM coins in. Um, that should go through and, and um, ex be accepted by your MetaMask. I've done it before, so it didn't come up. But if you're the first time doing this, it will come up with some confirmations. Now we want to go through and swap. 
This is an AMM, just like Uniswap. Um, so if you've got some coins in your wallet, you can go and swap them here. So let's put three FTM in and you can switch them into some other tokens. There's a bunch of tokens on Phantom, as you can see. So you can search for all of these if you want to swap into them. Boo is obviously the token of uh, Spooky Swap. Um, so this is a classic AMM. So it's just going to give you the price and then you can press swap right here. If you press swap, it's going to come up with a transaction uh, for you to confirm in MetaMask. You have to go through and pay a fee, uh, which you can see is absolutely tiny. I'm just going to uh, reject that because I don't want to trade. Um, but this is a market order. So it will just give you the price right here. What you will need to do also is come up and uh, get into some settings as well because you need the settings. So we're going to click that right here. Um, and what you need to know is the slippage tolerance. So basically slippage is the difference in price between when you hit swap and when you actually trade. What you're telling the system at the moment is that you're allowed to basically pay or get a worse trade by about 0.8%, which is usually gonna be fine. You might wanna make it a bit lower, but if it's lower and the trade moves outside your slippage, you won't actually trade. Uh, on Phantom, it's very quick, so you shouldn't have it too many issues. You can also um, put this up during times of high load on the blockchain. You can get your transactions done instantly if you want. You're gonna pay slightly higher gas. But again, Phantom is a quick blockchain, so you're probably not gonna need that. Uh, we're gonna go into expert mode in a second, which I'll show you. Um, but yeah, enable multi-hops. This is on by default. This is essentially hopping between different currency pairs to get you the best rate. Um, so this is the market order side and there's actually a limit order as well, which is very good, which I'll show you right now. So a limit order is when you put in a limit price that you don't want to trade above um, so that you try and get a better deal. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, what I can do is actually just put an amount in here, say 1%. So basically what I'm trying to do is offer uh, some FTM. Uh, I want to sell FTM and I want to get BOO tokens. Now, if I want to sell at a little bit of a higher price, uh, what I can do is come to above market and then choose a percent, or I can just put that amount in here. So you can see the actual amount of BOO that you get when you sell FTM is around about 0.73, something like that. Um, but I want to place my order a little bit above and try and get a better price. And hopefully the, um, the market moves up there and I get a better price. So I can place that order and what that actually does is put an order over here into my open orders. I obviously can't trade, right? So if my order is more expensive than the current market, I'm not gonna trade straight away, but if the market moves up there, then I will trade. This is good if you actually want to trade in a decentralized way, uh, you have a lot of FTM and you wanna get a good price, you can put some limit orders in and you'll see your limit orders here. So it's a good advancement that you don't find on many um, like market maker order books. I'll also quickly show you the expert mode as well, which looks a lot like a more professional trading screen on SpookySwap. Um, so come up to the settings and then I'm just gonna switch on expert mode. And it essentially gives you what would be considered a more professional style of trading. So what you can actually see is all of the trade history flicking through and the liquidity history. And you can also see um, a graph or a chart from TradingView as well. A lot of the charts are just not supported on this, unfortunately, because TradingView don't support a lot of these charts. And so most of them don't work. So I would say this is kind of in better phase, not really great, but what you can see is you can basically put limit orders in here um, and then choose you know, what you wanna sell your FTM at, or you can just choose market orders and that goes through the normal way and you can click swap like that. But yeah, quite a cool feature. Doesn't really work that great at the moment, but I'm sure it will be added to over time. Um, and if you have large amounts, you might wanna be using this. You can also add liquidity on SpookySwap as well. This is when you have two tokens and you put them into a liquidity pool and then you get the trading fees um, from the, the liquidity pool. So you're gonna need two tokens, so go over to swap and you know swap FTM for BOO, so you can do that, so you have those two tokens. Then you can come over to liquidity and provide both of those tokens in. Um, so you can see they call it ingredient A and B, so yeah, sticking to the theme. So if you have some FTM tokens, let's say I've got two tokens, it will basically tell me how many BOO tokens I need to put into the liquidity pool. This is all done automatically for you. Um, what you do need, you can see here, insufficient BOO balance. So <laughs> you, will need, uh, you will need to get those BOO tokens in your MetaMask and go through that. But basically all you do here is just pr uh, press um, add liquidity and then both of those tokens will be in 
earning trading fees for you. There's something you should be aware of called impermanent loss. It's when the price of the assets kind of diverges for when you put them in, and it may take away from the rewards that you get. So something to watch out for. I can't go through that in this video. It's too complex. I have a trading course. Look at the um, link in the description. It goes through impermanent loss using DeFi and earning yield. Uh, so if you want to know more about how to earn yield, um, you can check out the crypto course or go to moneyzg.academy and now I'll... Uh, you know, you can uh, learn way more about it there. But once you've got some tokens, what, what they'll do is when you put these tokens in, they'll give you something called LP tokens into your MetaMask wallet. Come over to my potions, and you will see your LP tokens here. The reason why that is important is because when you add liquidity and get those LP tokens in your wallet, you can actually go through to farm. Farming is when you take your LP tokens and you stake them for further yield. The reason they do this is to uh, combat any impermanent loss that you might get. So definitely do this. So if you're adding liquidity to the platform and you have those LP tokens, you will see them here. Obviously, the most popular is the FTM Boo token, which is, you know, the Phantom and Boo, the native token of this protocol. So once you have those tokens, just click on here. Um, and you need to approve to stake. So you can see that I don't have any liquidity, but if you had those LP tokens, you would have them in your wallet and then you need to approve to stake and then get the LP token and stake that here. You can see the current APR is 81%. This sounds a lot and it is, but it has to be high because FTM and Boo are obviously fairly um, smaller assets and they're more volatile. And so the difference between them obviously should be a lot higher and it is a lot higher. So they need to pay you higher amounts of um, LP token farming yields um, to basically make up for the impermanent loss. So if you do add liquidity and you get those LP tokens, come to the farm and stake them right in here. If you don't want to stake two coins, but you have some boo tokens and you think the protocol is pretty good, you want to own some of it, definitely come in here and stake them as well. So what you can see is uh, the approximate APR right now is about 30%. So all you need to do is go ahead and buy some boo tokens. And basically some of the profits of the protocol are being returned to you here. There's no impermanent loss here. This is literally just having tokens, staking them and earning a yield. So you can go through with that, approve the boo in your wallet. Uh, and then you'll get a 30% APR. This can change though. Um, so yeah, just put them in here. And what you can see is that you receive X boo as a receipt of representing your share in the pool. This, this pool automatically compounds by using a portion of all trade fees to buy back boo, right? So essentially what you're doing is getting a yield uh, for owning some of the protocol in here. Um, and then you can get X boo in your wallet. And then what happens is if you want to withdraw uh, your, your tokens from here, obviously get those X boo, you, there'll be an option here to withdraw. You put the X boo in your, uh, from your wallet in here and they'll give you those boo tokens back. And then from those boo tokens, you can go and swap them uh, to FTM or send them out to you know, your exchange. So yeah, the branding is a bit different, but actually the fundamental DeFi aspects are the same as pretty much every other exchange protocol. You can swap, you can add limit orders, you can add liquidity to earn trading fees, or you can just own the protocol tokens and stake them to earn passive income from the income that the protocol generates. Um, if you want to know more about how I uh, stake and earn passive income and yield, I have an entire DeFi section in my crypto course. That is linked in the description for you. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.